Okay, let's talk about the MDTP, Intermediate Algebra Readiness Assessment. So it's a big title. Um, and if you're watching this video, I assume that you are going to be taking this exam or this assessment test. And it's used in the state of California to you know, to determine uh, what math course you're going to place into in college. So it's definitely worth um, studying for any placement exam because if you kind of you know, just go into the exam and not do your best, you're going to end up taking a math class, spending time and money in a, in a math course that you really don't need to be in. Okay, so it's a win-win situation when you really put a lot of effort to study for any assessment, readiness assessment, because one, you're going to place into the highest level possible, and two, when you do place into uh, that level, with all the math review you've done, you're going to be ready for that level. Okay, so it's definitely smart to, you know, put a lot of effort in. So hopefully you're going to enjoy this video a little bit about myself. My name is John. I am a math teacher. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math, top middle school uh, math, high school math, and beyond. And I actually offer a full comprehensive uh, test prep course for this MDTP Intermediate Algebra assessment. I'm going to leave the link in the description of this video if you want to check that out. But with that being said, what I have here is a kind of a just a quick pop quiz for you. Something you're definitely going to need, you know, have to be able to handle uh, to do well on this particular assessment. Now, the MDTP Intermediate Algebra assessment is going to, it's really kind of used to, to have you place into a more like a higher level math course um, in college. Not like calculus, because uh, I believe they use the MDTP pre-calculus exam uh, for that, but this would be more like to see if you're ready to go into like college algebra or any other particularly like higher level math course that's not uh, calculus, maybe even statistics, possibly not sure, it depends on your college, but basically um, to do well on this exam, you're going to have to know the kind of the equivalent of like algebra two. So you know, you're going to have to know a considerable amount of algebra and some advanced algebra concepts. Now, what I got here is something that you definitely uh, uh, should know. So this is kind of a quick gauge of not your complete readiness for this, but just, you know, you definitely should know what to do here. So, all right. So I'm going to explain this, but then I'm going to give you a chance to solve it. So I have a function here and I have another function here. And I want you to go ahead and tell me what the answer to this is. Now, I'm not. I'm purposely not explaining this to you because I want to give you an opportunity to solve it on your own. But I'm going to go ahead and maybe you might want to pause the video and try it because I'm going to go ahead and solve it now. Okay. So what we're looking at here is uh, a problem in what we call composite functions. So I have a function f of x here. Okay. And I have another function here g of x. And I want to find out what f of g of x is. Okay, so I don't want to go into a complete full lesson about functions because this is a massive topic, but an extremely important topic that you, one you're going to have to really know for the uh, MDTP intermediate algebra assessment. But basically, let's just quickly review some quick concepts here. So let's take a look at this f of x function. Okay, and let's do something even more basic. If I told you to find f of 2, what would you do there? All right now, most of you hopefully are going to be like, oh, okay, I'm going to plug in, replace the x uh, with the 2, okay, and then I'm just going to evaluate. So in this case, it would be 2 squared, which is 4 times 2, which is 8 plus 3. I kind of skipped a little uh, steps there, but you kind of explain it, right? 2 squared is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 3 is 11, right? So f of 2 is 11. Well, my 2 is my input value, right? So I'm plugging in, it's my domain here. Well, that's not, it's part of the domain, but I'm plugging in a number into the function I'm evaluating it. Well, a composite function, I'm doing the same thing, but instead of plugging in a 2, okay, and doing all of this, I want to plug in the g of x function. Right now, I'm not plugging in this part of the g of x function, I'm plugging in this part because these are the same thing g of x is equivalent to 4x. So I'm going to be plugging in a 4x into the f of x function. That's what f of g of x is. Okay, this is a composite function. Really important stuff in, in algebra, okay? Uh, and we use composite functions for a number of different reasons, especially for in, inverse functions, etc. But let's go ahead and do this now. So 
Now that you have the main idea, I'm going to be plugging in the 4x inside of this. I'm going to very carefully look at this f of x function. So it's going to be 2. All right, I'm plugging in something. I'm squaring it plus 3. Okay, that's what I'm doing over here, right? That's what the rule is. Here's the x. Whatever I plug in, I'm going to replace whatever I'm plugging in, and I'm going to square it. In this case, it's going to be 4x. Okay, so hope you got to understand this setup first before you do the rest of the math. You're like, okay, now I understand what's going on, and if that's the case, we can just go ahead and simplify this now. So here I have to go ahead and do 4x squared, which is going to be, this is going to be 2 times what? What's 4x squared? So it's 4 times 4 is 16. Well, let's just do it over here. 4x times 4x is going to be 16x squared. So that's 16x squared plus 3. And then 2 times 16x squared gives me 32x squared plus 3. So that is our answer. That is f of g of x, our composite function. So real basic problem. I could have made this obviously much more challenging, uh, but that wasn't the point uh, of this video. My point was just to kind of give you a quick pop quiz to test your knowledge of functions. Now, to do well on, on this particular assessment, intermediate algebra, you're going to have to know a lot of stuff. You're going to have to know logarithms, exponential functions, systems, quadratic equations, polynomials, etc., etc. So uh, quite a bit to review, but again, it's a win-win situation to put the effort into studying for this because you're going to do well on this uh, assessment, and then whatever math course you do place into, you're going to be you know ready for it. The worst thing to do is to place into a, to get lucky, let's say, and place into a math course and you walk into the math course and now you're struggling you're in there and you know maybe you even fail that course that can happen okay you don't want to do that so especially if you're math you need to be ready you know you know at the college level to to do well okay all right so let's go and wrap up this uh video again if you think you like my teaching style um you could definitely uh Hopefully you'll subscribe to my channel, but I literally have hundreds of uh, videos on my YouTube channel it can definitely help you out. Again, the best uh, help that I can provide for you is my full prep course for the MDTP uh, Intermediate Algebra Assessment. I'm going to leave, a, again, the link to that course in the description of this video. Extremely comprehensive. I think you'll really like what you'll see there. Um, but if you like this video, definitely appreciate a thumbs up and leave me some feedback. Um, you know, what college are you going to? You're going to a community college, a state school, private school in California. Um, not even sure if the if private universities in California use this exam. Don't know that, but I definitely know that state schools use it, whether it's the Cal State or the UC uh, system. I actually went to college in California. I'm born and raised there, so don't live there now, but anything to help my fellow Californians out is, uh, is awesome. But I wish you uh, nothing but the best in your college experience. You know, the key really is to work hard. You know, it's not high school. You know, it's college. You're paying money for it. You know, it's, it's, it counts, right, in terms of time, money, effort, uh, et cetera. So do the right thing. Study as hard as you possibly can. And with that being said, I definitely appreciate your time, and have a great day.